Hello everybody, again a new video from Christophe about the Apple 2GS and today we will discuss about LCD screen. So this is my LCD screen and uh, we all know how it's difficult to find the right kind of connection to have the perfect uh, image on, uh, on, this, uh, on this screen. So I will use uh, several and show you several ways to connect uh, the Apple 2GS to a modern LCD um, screen. The first one I will use the classical and the well-known uh, DB15 cable to to SCART. Uh, this was uh, one of the most uh, uh, easy and fast. So the cable is just uh, 20, 20 bucks. Uh, you can find it on eBay very easily. So let's see how it looks like when it's connected to the Apple 2GS. Okay, so when we start, we can see that um, we have uh, some frames uh, that arrive uh, with a uh, Peritel DB15 cable only. Uh, uh, it's not very, very good. And uh, when we are in uh, high resolution, mm, you, we can see that uh, yeah, uh, our drive and uh, the background are not very good. Uh, as you can see, there is a lot of lines. Um, if we go into colors, yeah, uh, we can see that uh, the menu bar is okayish. But the background, which is the default background, the blue one, it's not very good in, ter in terms of uh, characters. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's okay. Uh, perhaps uh, I can do additional uh, things with a uh, with a screen. Let's see if I can have a better picture. So this is automatic. If we go into super zoom, mm, not fantastic. Large screen, uh, classical one. No, it's not. Uh, it's not very good. But yeah, uh, with it we can uh, we can uh, we can see it's. I would say the most uh, easy and classical one. So let's see for another way to connect the Apple to GS. Now for this second test, we will do again with the SCART cable. So DB15 from the Apple to GS to SCART. But instead of connecting the SCART directly to the screen, we will connect the SCART to this video box. Uh, you can find it also very easily on the internet. Uh, it helps to scale a little bit uh, better the picture. So you can you have two kind of input, the SCART or uh, an HDMI input, and we will see that uh, later. And uh, this is the front part in which you have the uh, HDMI output, and uh, you have a three push button, and we will see that uh, in a second. So I will connect the SCART here and go out HDMI here and from this HDMI to the screen. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, we can see that the picture is better than uh, the previous one. Uh, so we are now in HDMI, uh, the system is booting, and uh, we can see that in the background it's a little bit uh, with some lines. Uh, the menu is okay, but uh, characters are a little bit uh, blurry. Uh, let's see if we made some change. Uh, into the configuration if we have a better one. So now we are uh, in 1024, 70, 68, 60 Hz. That was uh, uh, how it was. And now we will move into 1280 by 
four, it's mm, okay-ish. Uh, ah, when we move it into 50 Hz uh, here in France, it's not very good. Uh, it's a very flicky. The same for 1000, uh, for 1920 by 1080 50 Hz. And I think this one is perhaps one of the best. 800 by 600 at 60 Hz. Uh, but we can see that, yeah, characters are a little bit uh, blurry. The background, it's okay. Um, uh, on the video, you see more, um, uh, more space uh, between lines, but in reality, it's uh, smooth. But it's a little bit uh, blurry. But uh, this is very good, uh, I would say. Uh, if we have a look into the colors, we can see that uh, the colors are real. So um, I think w this is a good way to to have a good picture. Uh, it's a mix between uh, the SCART uh, and the HDMI using uh, uh, this kind of uh, of converter. I will put references uh, uh, in uh, uh, in um, uh, the information uh, uh, below the video. Uh, and uh, for the next one, we will go into something I would say new, which is the usage of a HDMI uh, card for the Apple II GS. Uh, with HD, uh, we will put it into the system and uh, we will connect uh, directly in uh, in uh, HDMI. Let's see how it looks like. So we connected the with HD card into the Apple II GS. So I choose uh, slot number one, and uh, I added, you know, uh, HDMI extension to have uh, a connector outside of. Uh, of my Apple II GS to connect more easily uh, the cable. So the test is done with uh, also an Apple squeezer into the machine. So we can see that uh, it will work with uh, this accelerator. Uh, here we go, the vid HD is in the system and we are booting. And from booting, we can already see that uh, the picture is not very good. We have a lot of uh, dithering. It's, uh, it's okay-ish, but uh, looks like, you know, the connection with the SCART at the beginning. Um, yeah, not very convinced. Um, fonts are okay. We can see them very easily. The menu bar is okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, in terms of colors, um, we can see too many, uh, too many artifacts. So this is not very, very good. Um, perhaps I can make some change using my TV uh, output for the picture format. Uh, we are in automatic. Uh, in super zoom, it's the same. Extended uh, picture, it's not very good. Large, it's not good. Uh, non proportional. It's better in terms of uh, text, but it's not better in terms of uh, colors. And uh, for the uh, yeah, also for this mode, it's uh, not very good. So it's okay. Um, you are not using the classical output of uh, the Apple II GS, but a dedicated uh, HDMI card. Um, I think one of the points is to to try uh, the HDMI uh, input with uh, also this box. So let's have a look how it looks like after installing the box. Okay, so let's see now with a vid HD card, HDMI, and uh, the converter. So wow, first the picture is just perfect. Uh, Fonts is okay, a little bit blurry, 
but the background is blue, real blue, uh, and when we have the icon seems to be okay-ish. Let's see for the color. Color, it's okay. Perhaps we can do it better. Let's see by moving some uh, some switches. So we are in 1080 uh, let's see if we can have it better oh no no this one no definitely not wow aha <laughs> even better now the font are very clear the background is blue the colors are solid uh, i think this is one of the best pictures that I had on the LCD. So let's see for other one. So here we were in uh, 1080p 60Hz and output 1280 by 1 2460Hz. Uh, what do we have else? So this one we can forget it. <laughs> oh, this one also. It's too high. Oh, this is the first one that we had, I think. So, not very good, not good. And it must be, yes, this one, definitively. So here we have the, the best one. So, uh, between all the different configuration, of course, this one is the most expensive, why? because you need to have, of course, two HDMI cable, uh, one going out of the uh, vid HD uh, card plugged into the Apple to GS2, uh, the converter box, and another one going from this converter box to the screen, and you need also to have the VID, the vid HD card uh, to, have, uh, to have this. But I need to say that picture is are close to perfection and uh, if I have a look into into a game we can see that uh, yeah we have a very good uh, picture very good quality a lot of people will think that uh, this game is my favorite because I put it in uh, several uh, demo uh, no it just uh, <laughs> because it's uh, very easy to, to, to use. Okay, so my favorite with HD, HDMI cable to, to, to this uh, converter and uh, then HDMI to, to the screen and uh, you are full numeric. Thank you for following this video. I hope uh, you liked it. If you liked it, please put a like feel free to subscribe to to the channel and uh, see you soon bye bye oh by the way all these videos were made with the uh, apple squeezer inside the apple 2gs take care bye bye